Well, thank you, Robin and Max. Yeah, starting off this work week, we knew the haze would be thicker. Concerns, what I call the invasion of the inversion, this valley inversion even stronger. And as we're seeing that hazy soup there along the valley floors, let's again go towards our Ochre Mountain camera showing you across the Salt Lake Valley, a well-defined yeah, inversion layer. You've seen that haze where you can see the top of that haze right about up towards the benches here across some of the valley locations. This is a concern we've been noticing air quality decreasing. Now what's going on? Inversion season here. What is a valley inversion? Well, now as we move into the winter months, the sun angle lower. So and of course we don't have as much daytime heating. So we see in the overnight hours that cold air seeking towards the valley floors and it's really cold in the morning hours. Now we just don't get the heating during the day, but above that layer of cold air, it does heat up when you have a situation warm over cold that cold air just does not mix out and so we start building in that haze. So we call it an inversion because we invert the temperature profile. Typically as you go up in elevation, yeah, air cools, but this is not the case. We switch that around where that cold air just stays trapped. And the problem is, is it's a vicious cycle. So we build in that haze a little bit thicker. It's even more difficult for the sun to penetrate and heat at the surface so we don't mix out even more so. Now let's take a look at the air quality situation where we look at our air quality sensors powered by TELUS giving us a view exactly where you live, where across extreme northern Utah, actually up in Cache Valley, not too bad. You move further south though along the Wasatch Front, you're seeing those colors of yellow even into orange. And here across the Salt Lake Valley, many spots, especially as you look towards the north end of the Salt Lake Valley, in that unhealthy category for sensitive groups in the orange. Now here is evidence of the inversion. Look at the temperature in Park City, 41 degrees, but at Salt Lake City, it's 40 degrees. Yeah, that's that inverted where typically Park City is anywhere between 5 to 10 degrees cooler than Salt Lake City, but not the case right now. So this inversion in place for now, we need a storm to help mix out that air. Any chance of that as we look over the next seven days?